Hi everybody, it's Mr. Easter, of course. In this video, I am going to show you how to write rhythms, okay? In a different video, I show you how to clap them and count them. <clears throat> and that's, that's actually the most important skill when you go to sing or play. But if you know how to write them, that will help you clap them and count them correctly. So first, I'm going to go, I happen to be in band seven here, but all the courses have this same folder. This is week two which uh, has gone by by the time you see this, but the resources are in week two. Um, if you go to take the test, you need to go to the correct week, wherever the test is. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this one right here, Rhythms 2. This shows a bunch of rhythms, and I'm going to remind you how long things last and how to count them, and then I'll start showing you how to write them on the other one. Okay, so if you remember, quarter notes are one beat each. So like this would be one, two, three, four. One, two, here's your half rest, three, four. So um, I would just write the numbers under it. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. This is one, this is two. In order to remind yourself to be silent during three and four, I usually put them in parentheses. So I'll show you that in a minute. So this would be, you write the number one, write the number two, write the number three. Here you write the number four and put it in parentheses, okay? And then this is two counts, one, two, so I usually hook them together with a hyphen, a dash. I'll show you that. And then that'd be two, and then I'd write, or that'd be three, actually. And that'd be four in parentheses. Here, this is four counts, takes up the whole measure. So I'd write one, two, three, four, and that'd hook them all together with uh, um, hyphens, that sort of thing. I want to remind you when you get into eighth notes how to count eighth notes, okay? If they start in the beginning of the measure, that's beat one. And then that's two, and then that's three, and then that's four. So the way that they would go is one and two, three and four. So that's what you'd write. Here you'd write one, and then instead of writing out the word and, I'll show you how to make a real quick little symbol. There's various symbols for and, but I'll show you one. And then under here I'd write two, and then this would be three, and then that'd be and, and then this would be four. If you get a bunch in a row, you just do a bunch in a row. One and two and three and four. Okay? So that's how you count them. And you should already know that, but sometimes we, we need to be reminded, okay? I will go back now to that same folder and show you where the test is. It's actually, which one is it? This one, Rhythms to Perform Test Practice, okay? So you may have seen this before. I showed it to a lot of kids on uh, Google Meets in the second week. So this is the actual test I will give you to clap and count. If you remember, right, if you've seen it before, the last four of them, 9, 10, 11, and 12, here's 8, have 16 and we're not going to do that right now. So you don't have to, you don't have to um, write in the counting for 9, 10, 11, and 12, and you will not be called upon to clap and count them at least for, you know, a few weeks till we get to that point. And who knows, we may never get there. Okay, so here is number 1, and of course this is going to be 1. And that's going to be 2 and, so this is going to be 3, 4, which I said we would put in parentheses. And I'm looking for my printout. Here it is. And this, this, the two measures are always the same. So first, I'm going to put on stronger glasses. Here we go. So here I go. I'm going to write 1. And then out of the 2 eighth note, it's 2 and. And I'll show you how to make this and. And then 3 four in parentheses. One, two, and three, four in parentheses. So this is what I would call a good way, if I give you a test on this, that's how to do it. That's a good way to write it. Come on, I can never get this right. There we go. Now the way I'm making that and is a backwards three and then a little line above and below. Like that. It's just a backwards three. Or you could call it kind of a, it's kind of a capital cursive T. Come on, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'll show you this one more time if I can get it up there. The camera's always backwards. It's really hard to show. Can you see that? I think you can. I hope so. Okay, so that's number one. Here's number two. So this starts on one, so that's one and. So this is beat two. So this is three, four, so I'm going to hook the three and the four together, okay? All right, one and two, three, four. Okay, here I go. One and two, three dash four. 
1 and 2, 3 dash 4. Now let's see if I can show you that. I'm going to fold it to make it easier for me. When everything's backwards, I just, I can't do it. It's like doing it in a mirror. It drives me nuts. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, this is just number two. Let's see if we can see that. <laughs> Come on. It reacts slowly, too. One and two. And then the half note, I hook the two of these together. So you keep making sound during three. Come on. And also during four. There it is. One and two, three, four. So remember, when you're clapping and counting it, you have to keep the sound going during three, four. You can't go one and two, three, four, because then it sounds like you put a rest on four, because you didn't clap, you weren't making any noise. So you got to go one and two, three, four. All right, number three. Let's take a look. <clears throat> oh, let me go full screen here. That'll help. Okay. Is this number three? Yes, it is. Okay. So two beats for the half note. So one, two, I'll hook them together with a hyphen or a dash. Then that'd be three and, and then that'd be four. This one is the same. One dash two, three and four. One dash two, three and four. Now this is a skill I may test just by itself. I may put this up there and say, uh, well, I'll print it out in class for you and hand it to you on paper. And you go home and write in the uh, counting and then bring it back like the next day or the next time I see you. And we'll see if you got it right. Because if you don't know how to do this, you're going to have trouble clapping, I'm guessing. There it is. One, two. Notice how I hooked them together. And then the eighth notes are three and. And then the last quarter note is four. So again, when you're doing that half note, you have to keep making sound for two counts. One, two, three. And four. And the half note doesn't stop on two. It actually stops when the eighth notes start on three. One, two, three, and four. Because if you go one, two, three, and it sounds like you put a rest on two. Well, there's no rest written. So it's one, two, three, and four. All right. This is mostly about writing it. Number four. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have some kind of allergy. I usually take a pill for it in the morning, but I forgot to today, so I'm sorry for all the sniffling. I'm really not trying. Okay, so this is going to be one and two, and then the half rest is three, four, but you don't want to make noise during them. So again, I put that in parentheses to remind myself, and if I ask you to write in the counting and I'm going to grade it, that's what you need to do. You need to put it in parentheses so I'll know that you realize, okay, that's a rest, okay? If I'm going to grade this, I want you to do it the way I'm doing it. So here we go. One and two and then three, four in parentheses. One and two, three dash four in parentheses. Here it is. All right. There's only... One more on this page. Wait a minute. That was number four, right? Did I say it was number five? That's number four. Yeah, that's number four. Okay, here's five. <clears throat> Similar, not the same. One and two, three, four, but only the three is a rest. So the three goes in the parentheses, the four is not a rest. One and two, three in parentheses, and then four. <clears throat> There it is. The parentheses remind you not to clap and to whisper that count when you perform it. If I make you write them, it's so that you'll do better when you clap them and count them. Because clapping and counting, performing, is what it's all about. Uh, you know, in the end, when you're doing a concert, it doesn't, the audience doesn't know if you can write them right. Or if you know what they're called, all they know is if you do them right. Okay? All right, so here's how this goes when you clap it. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. I think that's enough examples. You can do the others on your own. 
we did one through five, so you've only got six, seven, and eight to figure out on your own. If you have a question or a problem, of course, you can uh, get to me through Schoology or email or ask me in class. Thanks for watching. Good luck to you.